Hey everyone, Chris here from Aussie Bricks. Today, I've got a Lego haul to share with you guys. I picked these sets up on the after Christmas sales sale, but it was actually on Christmas Day, the sale. So is it after Christmas or is it actually a Christmas sale? I don't know. They were online, so obviously you couldn't get these in store the day that they were on sale. So I placed my order. Now I've got one, two, three, four, five sets down here to show you. I've already taken them out of the shipping containers because, well, uh, there was just, it would have just been this huge big pile of shipping cartons and it just would have been really way too hard for me to uh, show you the haul. I'm super excited about it. All these sets were more than half price off. I got them at Target. I am super, super pumped about them. I cannot wait to build them. I'm really excited to build them as well. So let's get stuck straight into it and check out the sets that I picked up in this latest Lego haul. Now let's start with the smallest set first. I guess it's going to give it away straight away as soon as I put the set up here, what I've got and why I am so excited. And especially at the price point I got these sets at. It is a 0007 Iron Bull Tank from the Monkey Kid series. Man, this has been a LEGO store exclusive series, and they are very, very expensive. I feel like this set is um, maybe like a 70 Australian dollar set. Crazy. I got it at half price, and I added it with another set on the same uh, checkout, which is Monkey Kids Cloud Jet 80008. I think both of these together worked out to be around $65, had some extra coupons, a further $10 off. So I pretty much picked these sets up for under $30 each. That is amazing because like I said, they're $60 or $70 sets at the Lego store. Some really awesome pieces in them. I mean, I'm so excited to get a whole heap of these monkey kid torsos. That is awesome. I'd already picked one up from the Lego bricks and pieces uh, support section of the Lego store online. But now I've got a whole heap of extra monkey kid torsos, which is excellent. Cannot wait to build them. Not sure about this big guy. I'm not really into the big uh, character figures, but we'll, we'll see what happens when I open it up. Let's put these aside. So you can see where this haul is going. We're going from small to not so small to the next one, which is Red Sun's Inferno Truck 80011. And what is most exciting about this set is the side build. Let's take a look at the back. Because this is the Panda store. I'm not sure what we're going to find in here. Is it a food store? Um, it will be. Because remember I built the other side build from one of the Monkey Kid mechs. We've got a video. Check the uh, link above there if you want to check out that mock build. I ordered all the pieces on Bricklink just specifically to build the side build. But you know what? This set was... I think I got it for 60 Australian dollars, which is again half price with an extra coupon. So the pieces just for this build, as well as grabbing a sticker sheet off Bricklink, would have been at least $60, if not more, because I know how much the other side build cost me to buy off Bricklink, and it was expensive. So this is awesome. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the truck. It won't fit in the city. Actually, none of these will fit in the LEGO City. They're definitely just display pieces. But again, another Monkey Kid torso down here do we have? Yeah, we do. But this one is different. He's wearing a white shirt because I'm guessing he's... Wow, he's the delivery driver. This is actually... I keep forgetting the side build part here with this little tuk-tuk or whatever we want to call it. Tuk-tuk. Um, I always skip over it and just think of the shop. But this little... This little build is going to be pretty awesome as well, the delivery driver. Oh, super pumped to get that set. Oh, falling off the desk because I actually don't have space to sit them here. Next up, you know what? I wasn't even really interested in this set, but again, half price, how can you say no? The Flaming Foundry. What am I going to do with it? 80016. It is a huge set. How many pieces does it say on the front here? We have got... Uh, it doesn't actually say how many pieces. But this is a big, heavy box. I mean, this is going to be a pretty big set. Oh, it's got a light brick as well. That's pretty cool. But I'm, again, pumped for all the extra minifigs in here. This is pretty cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with the Flaming Foundry. Let me know in the comments what do you think I should do with the Flaming Foundry. But, again, cheap. 
Alright, this one, this next one, let me put this one back on the ground because I've, I've lost, I've lost all my space. Let's get, let's get this down here. Because the next one, the next one is the one. Monkey Kids Team Secret Headquarters, set 80013. Look, we don't even fit on the desk together. It is so big, this set. Look at my arm is so long. Oh my god. Pretty excited about this set. This would actually fit really well in like a Ninjago area of the city. Not that I have a Ninjago area. Um, fingers crossed for the future. But this set is awesome. This is a $260 set here in Australia from the Lego store. So to get it at uh, Target, sorry, for $120 Australian dollars plus my extra little discount. So brought it down closer to $100. You cannot get better value. $100. This set is awesome. It is so big. I am pumped to build this. This is definitely live stream material, this set. I cannot wait to build it for you guys. Pretty, pretty excited. All right, let me know which was your favorite set from... Actually, before we close out the video, I, I've never really paid too much attention to the back of the box. I've always just looked at the front and gone, oh man, I want that container ship. But the actual interior of the ship is pretty detailed as well. Oh, we've got the mech. We've got like a mech here inside getting built like in a mech factory. Man, did, did I need a second one of these so I can like build one for display and then mock one? Well, you know what? I bought two. Uh, so that's all right. I've actually bought two and that's again why the boxes for this haul were so big and I had to pull them out because I pretty much bought two of every set because it was half price. All right, I'm probably crazy, but anyway, that's... Uh, I'm sorry. But yeah, let me know in the comments below which was your favorite set from today's haul. For me, it's definitely the Monkey Kid Secret Headquarters. Yeah, that's my set for today. All right, massive big thumbs up if you enjoyed this Lego haul. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss more Lego hauls. And I can tell you, I've got a Lego haul from lego.com.au coming that I purchased on the 1st of January. So you can only speculate the sets that I will have in that haul. What was released on the 1st of January? I wonder. Anyway, that haul will be coming very, very soon. Leave your comments down below, which was your favorite set from today. And, um, yeah, alright, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, everyone.